Today, I'm going to talk about a Japanese art collection at the Tokyo National Museum. Jakushu Ito was born in 1716 and died in 1800. He was born in a wealthy merchant family and spent most of his lifetime focusing on painting. He drew flowers, birds, and animals. He left so many paintings of fowl, so he's known as the painter of fowl. The title of the piece is Fowl with Pine and Plum. A monochrome piece painted on the folding screen by ink. A folding screen is a furniture used to avoid the wind or to divide the room and is made of wooden frame and papers. In Japan, the painting on the folding screen began in the 8th century, and after 14th century, it became very common. There are decorative pieces with gold applied, but this piece by Jakushu is simply painted by ink. On the left side of the screen, the plum tree is painted, and on the right side, the pine tree is painted. Both the plum and pine trees are considered a s l u c k y icon in Japan and are often used for the motif of the picture. Fowl is also considered auspicious, which tells the arrival of the new day. In the case of Jakushu, he seems to depict the fowl as something very close to him. Jakushu loved animals and kept many different kinds of birds in the garden at home. He is said to have observed those birds carefully and drawn, but for these falls, he simplified the form and abstracted it in a humorous manner. With the touch and stroke specific to ink brush painting, the falls are depicted vividly. Looks like these falls are talking to each other in the backyard garden. Jakushu may have been listening to the false chat. This is called Toro, a lantern made of stone that is set in the Japanese garden. If you look closer, you can see it is stippled. When it comes to pointillisme, Jokushu Sula in 19th century France is famous. But Jakushu had already applied this method in the 18th century. You can feel the texture of the stone with this expression. A small amount of red is applied on the comb, mostly drawn by the variety of ink density, and you can even feel the fluffy feather. Jack Chu set free these lively fowls to posterity.